What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado and this is Torado Racing. Now in today's video we're picking up uh, 83 CJ7. Now it is my Jeep and I've never mentioned it but it's because when I was in active duty uh, we moved around a lot and it was difficult to keep all of our vehicles. I've always had the Challenger, a daily driver, and then my wife had her car. To throw the Jeep on top of that would have been a lot of work to move them all around. So it's about time that I brought the Jeep over to Texas and finish what has been started. So the video starts with me and Ashley going to the airport and like true Texans, we go and get some breakfast tacos. Jump on a plane in Austin, Texas and make our way to Asheville, North Carolina. We're greeted by my dad and his power wagon and we go to pick up our U-Haul. And to no surprise, U-Haul gives away our trailer. So we had to go to the next town over about 45 minutes away to pick up another trailer. Once we picked up the trailer, we got it all hooked up, everything was good to go, and we headed back to Asheville. All right, guys. So I haven't been doing much talking in the channel uh, at the beginning of this video because we woke up really early to jump on the plane and then to get here, and then we were supposed to get the U-Haul trailer, but there was a hiccup and they gave our trailer away. So we had to go 40 minutes south to Hendersonville to pick up another trailer where we met a really nice gentleman by the name of Nick. He is a army army guy. He was actually from Fort Hood, Texas, pretty cool. So now we're gonna head back. So what, we're like an hour away from home or yeah, about an hour away from Asheville. So we're gonna hit the road, see you there. One hour later. Okay, so we just got to my parents' house in Nashville, but Ashley wants to get some donuts real quick. So we're gonna get some donuts real quick, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna walk over the CJ7. So I'll see you there. All right, guys. So it's been a it's been a real busy day. Uh, I would say we're about two hours behind schedule, maybe a little more. Uh, so we just want a little quick pick me up, and we're gonna get some duck donuts. Uh, there's a duck donuts in Austin, but it's really far from our house. And this one's just right down the road. We got here in like maybe 10, 12 minutes. So I actually want some donuts. I want some donuts, and then we're gonna hit the sack. So this whole trip, uh, just to give you guys some context, it's like a two day thing. We flew in today on a Friday. We're packing up and we're leaving here in a few hours, in the wee hours of the morning, like 3 a.m., to get back to Texas. Um, so once we get back to the house, we'll talk more about the Jeep, we'll talk about the importance of the Jeep, and future plans with it. So we'll see you back at the house after we get some of these delicious donuts. See you there. A few moments later. All right, guys, we're back. Cold, got the garage door closed because we're actually going to take the top off the Jeep because in reality, it's actually no good. Uh, I'll show you guys right here. You can see all the cracks and everything. Uh, we're just kind of looking at what the tops that we do like um, that we want to change them out to. Uh, but this top is just, it really is no good. So we're just going to go ahead and take it off and discard it right now. But I want to talk about something a little more important because a lot of you guys know me as the Challenger guy, the Dodge guy. My channel started with the SRT8, converting it to the wide body and making it the autocross car, uh, future road racing car that it's meant to be in my eyes. So a lot of you guys might be wondering like, where did the Jeep come from? Well, in reality, everything with cars for me started with CJ7s. So back in like fourth grade, I mean, I don't even know how old I was, but eight, nine, maybe 10, I don't know. My father, he's big Jeep guy, big off-roading guy he bought a CJ7 and it needed a lot of work. So I would spend a lot of my time in the garage with my dad uh, taking apart uh, CJ7s and he would give me a bunch of little things to do like take off the hinges, take off the rear tail lamp covers, uh, remove the rear tail lamps, just give me little odd jobs that he knew that I could accomplish. And that Jeep ended with him selling it. We ended up moving and relocating to a different part of Florida and he again bought another Jeep. Now this one was even more intense. It was another CJ7 and I was in seventh grade. And what we ended up doing was completely tearing this thing apart. Me and my dad, middle of the night, uh, my older brother would come and help us. He'd help in between. But I remember this one specific moment where my dad wanted to take the body off the Jeep. So 
remove the entire body off of the Jeep in order to put the new lift kit, engine, and transmission in it. And what we ended up doing is, I mean, I don't know how old my dad was at the time. He might've been about uh, early 40s, but we ended up, me and my dad, I was in seventh grade. I mean, I was, just, I was just a little kid, right? We removed the entire body off of the Jeep in the garage and set it off to the side. So uh, a little crazy, uh, you know, definitely some OSHA violations <laughs> if you look at the way that we did it. But you know, I remember all these things. So uh, more time passed by. There was a couple of the Jeeps that my dad had owned. He owned a uh, Wrangler. I uh, didn't have that one for too long. And then uh, jumping to this one, which is the most recent CJ7. Um, to me, growing up with them, this is the best looking Jeep is the CJ7. The CJ5s have a smaller door right here. And to me, it just looks a little funny. So it's not my preference. I like the longer wheelbase of the CJ7. So for the last few years, my dad has been the one working on this Jeep. Uh, Cause I've been in the military, I'm living in Texas. The Jeep is here in Asheville, North Carolina. But it is finally a dream come true. It's my turn to take the reins and I'm taking the Jeep to Texas to finish what is left. Uh, there's a lot of work, it doesn't look like it, it doesn't look like it on camera, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be uh, done to this Jeep to make it a, you know, jump in and go vehicle. I'm not gonna go over all the specifics today because we're running out of daylight and we need to get this thing loaded up because we're gonna hit the road here in like maybe six hours, maybe eight hours. I don't know, I'm tired, I'm already tired guys, don't judge me. So that's what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove the soft top because it's already garbage, it's no good. And then we're going to, gotta give it a little Toronto Racing flair, right? Give it a little Toronto Racing flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some decals on this baby real quick before we start hauling it all the way to Texas. So anyways, let's get to work, let's get started. All right, guys, she's on the trailer, hooked up to the power. I need some of this. I'm just kidding, it's sort of from a place, Mexican joint where we're at. Uh, it's not beer, it's just, you know, a sweet little drink I got. But yeah, it's, uh, like I said, we're behind schedule. We've got the uh, Jeep loaded up on the trailer. We've got all the accessories. Uh, so we got the doors, half doors, soft top, bikini top. Uh, we got all that stuff in the back of the truck as well. So, but for transportation, we're gonna take her naked. There's really nothing on the inside that can get damaged. Uh, seats are gonna get replaced. Uh, maybe in the future we can throw some PRP or status racing seats in there. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you like what you see, if you're excited for this, or you wanna see some off-roading, you wanna see some trail riding, let me know, leave a comment below. Uh, if there's something you wanna see specifically on the Jeep, again, leave a comment below. So if you like these videos, hit that like button. If you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, peace out.